Bonner boy receives congratulation message and a letter and also expensive designers from Dior and La Bartine. and that is something that a lot of people are now responding to ever since being posted on social media and I still have this one I don't have money again Mr. Spell says after he was seen in public looking on kept and this I'll be talking about in this particular video because a lot of people need to understand uh, about getting rich because most people don't understand that man there are some people you cannot help to get rich even if you give them huge sum of money to start a better life for themselves that is one thing I got to notice about this uh, Mr. Spell before I jump right in I want you guys to kindly subscribe to my youtube channel hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time I upload my videos but if already subscribed thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media <music> Yes, you all know that Bonner Boy, you know, got a Grammy Award, which was well deserved, according to what um, some people are now talking about on social media. It's like the euphoria of Grammy Awards is still on, and a lot of people are still talking about um, the whole thing and sending in their congratulatory messages to Bonner Boy and willing to receive all of that from musical fans across the globe. Uh, recently, um, you know, Dior, that is designer Dior, um, you know, the designer brand Dior and uh, Laubertin La actually sent a congratulatory, you know, letter and expensive designers, you know, to Bonner Boy to help celebrate the Grammy Awards. And I think, um, you know, Bonner Boy has been all excited about it and did post it out on social media and got a whooping sum of reactions, you know, on that and i think uh, recently bonaboy is being loved by a lot of musical fans and uh, because of the rate at which he is engaging with a lot of people in the street right here and what do you have to say about this whole thing bonaboy getting some kind of um, you know recognition internationally at this point in time but i think uh, bonaboy must be one of the highest patronizer you know of Dior that is why he was actually recognized at a point in time music in nigeria has changed and a lot of things you know getting all interesting why some people are saying that the old people know how to do it better why some people believe that the new people knows how to do it better but what do you feel about that do you feel that the old jams we used to listen to is better than this one we are having right now i need that in the comment section but for me my own opinion is that uh, the way we make music the way we sing has actually changed um you know recent in recent time and we need to understand that yes we have to be smart all about it because um beautiful things are still coming and then you know new ways of making some making it easier for a lot of musical fans you know to work and then get a better result is all out and some people are already you know talking about it on social media and i think we need to encourage a younger generation especially uh these guys that are coming the likes of belash mother the likes of uh, omale we have um, you know rema we have Thames, we have irasta we have ruga a lot of these guys ck chiki and a lot of them you know having dope content all over the places and we have to actually say yes these guys are doing us proud because when you listen to the content of what they have you have to like you know give kudos to them 
Yes, uh, Mr. Spell has gone broke. You know, was seeing his street actually begging and looking unkept and looking so dirty. Uh, this guy became popular in 2018, you know, for spelling uh, Buhari in a unique way. And some people actually said, man, this guy is a guy that we need to clean up and bring into the hood. But they did try to uh, actually clean him up. And then they gave him a lot of leverage, a lot of endorsement. But this guy is still broke in the street right now. And some people are all um, kind of surprised about it. Um, you know, what I believe about this whole thing is that uh, this guy, uh, I think he has man mismanaged for That is something I believe about the whole thing because he's got, uh, he got the opportunity to actually change his life at the time. And I think lack of education affected him to an extent that is what i believe but some people are quick to like you know lash out on on celebrities who did pick or uh, pick him up from the street and i think we need not blame them that is something i believe about this whole jack because uh according to some people said uh he he lacked the, the the intellect to actually manage uh the life of um, you know a celebrity because he was made a celebrity at the time and this guy is gone broke again what is actually wrong let's try and listen to him enjoy yourself the doctor will never see you. Nigerians will do for you. Help them. They will see you again. They are me. You will be remembered. We are no this one. Now, Mr. Spells be this now. 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 Hey, hey. Yeah, he's oh, my God. Oh, Nigeria. I don't know why they will call the doctor so we know ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I don't know. Now, Mr. Spence, he's here. And he said never chop since. He never said. Oh, my God. Our great entertainer. 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 Our great this is a video of Mr. Spurs. He's going through a lot. He needs help. People should come to his rescue, please. Mr. Spence is suffering. Nigeria should come and rescue him. What's he happening now, Mr. Spence? This is how you go like this. Huh? You know this shop. You don't tell. The people never see you. What did you happen now? What did you happen? Why you know this child? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know this money? Yeah. Sorry, don't worry. I will post this video online, make Nigeria see him, make it help you. You know, say before, before you go, entertain Nigeria as before. I will post them online, make them come to your help. Yeah, yeah? Yeah? yeah. Don't worry. Guys, may you never be broke again after becoming rich. Kubana chief priest I came out to say, man, I can never be broke again and because I'm a unique hustler. And a lot of people are fighting that. Why some people believe that, man, this guy is actually hustling hard. Ever since he left Kubana group, uh, he's still making a lot of money, try to venture into politics, the camp to, you know, APC, and then got a membership card. Hard. this guy wants to actually get it big in politics at a point in time he was the person that uh, you know introduced or it uh, took um, 
um, e money and his brother to uh, the governor of uh, Kogi State to actually say, Man, we are supporting you come 2023. What do you feel about that? Do you think that Yaya Bello got the upper hand to actually win a presidential election or ticket come 2023? That is the question some people are now asking. But for me, I believe that he's got no, you know, kind of resources and no connections like that to actually amount and win a kind of um, you know uh, amount a kind of vote that will he help him to win presidency come 2023 and some people are saying that yes this guy is you know already wasting his time and resources should keep his resources to himself what do you feel about that i need that in the comment section but before I jump right off, I want you guys to kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button below and the bell notification icon to always get notifications each time I upload my videos. But if already subscribed, thank you for subscribing and make sure you share my videos across social media platforms so that others will get to see what is trending and what we are talking about on social media.